Now, this is basically the same as a fancy feast stove. Basically, has a wick, has a pot stand, okay? Now, the difference is it's got jets, as I said. What I do today is just demonstrate this concept. Now, I haven't seen anyone. Here we go for those folks who don't know, Methylate Spirits. It's the purple stuff. Come on, folks, let it be your luck push me. Got a folks say to be a little bush in the head. What I thought uh, we'd do today is um, this evening actually is a. If you guys remember how my channel started, it was originally uh, uh, cooking stuff. It was originally a wood gas stove. I thought I'd delve back into the old crazy uh, bushman ideas and get back into the stove. So um, yeah, I've got some stove set up so you guys might be interested. Apologies, I haven't uploaded anything. I've been busy with uni, testing out some tarps and stuff and some materials for my uh, tarp business. I've just been super flat out, but yeah, I thought I'd show you guys this. Okay, so what we have here basically is a tin and a Coke can. Apologies for the shadows, but. If you can see it just, if I can bring it closer to the camera, here we go. It looks like a cat can stove, a fat feast, a fancy feast stove. This is actually a, um, it's basically a trangia. You can see the jets where my thumb was. You can shine it in the right light. You can just see it on that corner to that this corner you can see the jets it's pretty much a trangia but hold on it is the combination of a trangia a avenue type Titanium single chamber uh, alcohol burner and well, actually, I don't have it, but. Basically a fancy feast stove, the open wick with the one inch pot stand. Okay, now for those folks who don't know, in New Zealand we don't use alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. We use methylated spirits, so as I said I'm reviving the DIY uh, cooking series with uh, burners and that. I'm actually being inspired by someone who hasn't been on uh, YouTube for quite a while. His name is uh, Hiram Cook. He's been off YouTube for the last three years. So I thought not plagiarize his work, but try expand on it and sort of carry on his legacy. I got a lot of cooking ideas for the stoves and different designs. So I thought I'd start anyway and uploading some. So there's going to be another new series yet again this year. I've got a lot of series to catch up on, but they will be filled in eventually. Now, how is... A, so picture this temporarily as a um, fancy feast stove, okay? I had a fancy feast stove. I actually dismantled all of them. I need the parts for this. Now, how is this burner, basically, uh, basically a mini trangia I made with an inbuilt pot stand, how is that the same as this, okay? Well, this has got a vapor chamber. For those folks who don't know, okay? See that hole in there? This one. It's just a single chamber. It's got um, some little outlets to cut in with your wicking. Uh, it's got no wicking, it's just all vapor. It comes out these jets on the side, uh, just like a trangia. So this lights first, and then this lights second. 
to the top, like the first, then the second. And once it's on secondary jets down bottom, then it's a full balloon. Okay, folks. That comes with a stove uh, stand. There's titanium. This is not ever new. This is ever new like. Um, <clears throat> Still doing a product review on this product. It's called Tom Shuko. They're all basically the same, okay? All Tom Shuko products and Chinese, I call them third-party manufacturer titanium products, are about the same as the Evernew, okay? So this is that style, the Evernew style meths burner, okay? So if you hear me say meths in all my DIY quote alcohol stoves, um, it's alcohol stoves, and we use meths, you might call it alcohol, if you hear me call it meths, it, it'll be alcohol for you, so just pay attention to that. Trangia, this is original Trangia that came with a Swiss Army mess kit, okay, um, pretty heavy thing, it's a, it's a bit buggered, but, there we go, just like that. Show you how. I mean, if you folks don't know how a tranger works, it's pretty simple. Okay, so it hasn't primed yet. You see the blue flame? When you see around these jets, then it's primed. So wait for a bit. You can just see it kicking in just now. On the top. Now with the Trangia, these got inbuilt cotton liners, okay? Um, I've actually taken apart one myself before. They actually cracked right through the middle here. Um, this one was used and abused, but it cracked right through, okay? So there's always that. So it's cracked right through my old one. Now you can see the jets. I want you to pay attention to these jets, okay? The ever new type titanium mess burners, you might call them alcohol yet again. Uh, these mess burners, they operate the same as Trangia, okay? So exactly the same. I'm just gonna put this out. So that's Trangia. Notice it has no secondary jets, just the top. You need a pot stand for this, okay? And the fancy face stove. Now, I don't have one as of yet, as I said, but a fancy face stove is exactly looks like that without the jets. Just sits on top. It's usually about half inch to three quarter inch you can get away with. Three quarter inch is more closer to one inch. The one inch sweet spot, uh, predominantly for meth burners, yet again, for those folks who don't use meth burners, it's an alcohol burner. We use mess in New Zealand. I just want to reiterate it from now on. All my DIY projects I refer to alcohol as mess because that's what we use. Now, I'm not doing a cook. A cook. I'm not going to boil water, okay? I've done some preliminary testing. This is just a rough concept at the moment. There's a special trick up its sleeve. Now, just hold on for the special trick. Okay, so you can, it's a bit loose on the sides where it joins into the tin. As I said, this is a tin mixed in with a Coke can. You see this here? That flash, that is just crap burning off the side of the can. Do not worry about that. But you can see the jets come in. It burns pretty hot, the stove. It's not efficient yet. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd demonstrate now. Now my test pot is the Hoax 550, you can see it come out here, that's a bit of overfeed, I've overfed it a little bit, so it's going to come out the side a bit, as I said, it's not a fully working design, 
Still got some kinks to work out. But as I said, there's a secret to the stove, unlike the fancy feast stove. Can you see the jets? So you can see the jets here, and if you look where my fingernail is, if you look where my fingernail is, right there, okay? You can see the air holes just like a fancy feast stove. Now this is basically a smaller version of a Trangia with an inbuilt pot stand. Basically. The reason why I'm showcasing this design is now I don't think I don't think it's definitely a new design, but I haven't seen it on the forums. Um, uh, YouTube pushcrafters do it or any other outdoor cooking related videos do it. A Trangia, it's a classic design. Why hasn't anybody really delved in this? Now, you're probably thinking, someone has, well, I haven't really seen it. Everyone's doing fancy feast soaps. No one's really utilizing the beauty of a Trangia style design. As I said, it's not a cat can stove, it's not a fancy feast stove or tuna stove, it's not an open wick, but it's got a wick. So it's like a trench here, it's got the the bloom of a titanium stove, the inbuilt wick, liner wick, to vaporize the fuel and to sap up the fuel like a trangia and it's like a this is just a tuna can but just imagine a fancy feast stove with an inbuilt um, pot stand just like this as I said it's not optimally burning this pot is actually too big for it this will be more suitable for a boy scout type setup but the burn is pretty clean there is the odd flickering. Now, the odd flickering, as I said, is just crap from the can. Um, or it's a small hole in the um, joining of the can, this tin, which is a boot whack, or my American subscribers will call that mink wax oil can, tin, sorry. That's, we call the stuff dubbin in New Zealand. That's where you like your oil cloth and your leather boots in it. The, the Coke can is a Diet Coke can. It's the 250ml long ones uh, with a wool blanket wick. Actually, this wool blanket. It's pure wool, 100% wool. So it's naturally flame retardant, but because it's wool, you can use it like, in my testing, this black stuff I got here. This is not carbon felt, this is wool felt. 100% wool felt. A wool blanket is actually better for wicking and it doesn't burn as much. Now, as I said, this design for my pot and I'll get to this pot in a second is it's a bit flawed. The reason why it's flawed is because the pot is too small. Okay. So I'm just going to let this heat up for a bit. See how it goes. It's pretty hot. And that's basically it. You can see it. it's a real hot ripper of a stove. It burns hot. As I said, I'm working up the kinks for this. Because I built this specifically to use it like a transit and for something else. And I built it for my pot that I'm using. The Totes 550 Titanium Pot. Now that came from a review set, set that a Chinese manufacturer had sent me. They had sent me two of them. This was years and years ago. I never told you guys um, years and years ago, but I actually got sent a lot of gear to test out 
from manufacturers or suppliers in China. Some of it I've tested, and I'm talking like a year or two years. This is how long this stuff's supposed to come out. So I'm just bringing them out now. But I utilized that cook set because I gave my review. I never was paid for it. I was just given the product. Um, but to be honest, I never reviewed stuff on my channel really because I was pretty much embarrassed to. Um, I felt too humble to put that kind of stuff on. I didn't want to turn my channel into buy, buy, buy and some consumerism stuff. I wanted to do more, you know, skills and DIY and experience type of bushcraft and outdoor activities, not just review products all the time. So, yeah. But anyway, um, I've utilized that pot system. Now, if you guys are familiar with the 550 Tox Titanium uh, Solid Fuel Stove Set, I will put a photo somewhere in this video. You get the Tri-Wing Solid Fuel Stove. Now, they're great in the wall, but there's one flaw. Now, not this stove, but the Tri-Wing Solid Fuel Stove. Okay, from Tox. It doesn't sit at the one inch sweet spot. The Solid Fuel and uh, Meths. It's perfect at one to one and a quarter, okay? It sits way too low. It's, it's a pretty neat idea. No one, I haven't seen really anyone do this, a transit, like actually build a transit. That is basically a transit. It's a sealed unit, okay, with a wick. Got the jets too. And it's an inbuilt pot stand. I'll show you the secret though. Now, as I said, <clears throat> as I said, this is a sort of like a heritage type series of DIY and stove systems. This is carrying on the work of Hiram Cook. I haven't seen him uploaded his videos, and I just want to want to carry on his talks and conversations a bit, not to plagiarise his work. I'm um, very thankful for his work. It's just how I've been inspired by his work. That's actually what led me to build my wood gas stove. Now. Here's the beauty of this. Solar fuel. Now, this is a wooden fire starter. Okay, the budget ones. You've seen me in my other videos with it. I'll just grab the wrap and show you. Here we go. Budget fire starters. Okay, let's read some of it. If it's going to let me focus, okay. focus is not working today, but this is basically $2.90 NZ, 32 of them. Okay. Now that means you could, 32 of them, $2.90, okay, NZ, New Zealand dollars. Now these are a, like the Exacto Tech wood tinder cubes, exactly, just a whole lot cheaper. Now, this is what they look like. Okay, just a small cube. They weigh 5 grams, exact. 5 gram cube, okay? You can boil water, heat water, not boil. You can heat water with this. And it takes ages. This is solid fuel we're talking about, and wood. $2.90 for 32, okay? So that gives you about 16 times you can heat water. It will reach your boiling water. It takes a while, as I said. Solid fuel takes a while. It's doable. Um, the fuel is lighter. Okay, there's that. Okay, that's one cube. Now, this is made from Pinus radiata or cash crop pine, just normal pine. Okay, uh, it's totally waterproof. Okay, so I could soak this in water, wring out the water, break it up again, and it'll start. Even from a, I've done it from a fr friction fire method, from a um, fire plow, I've done it from a bow drill. Uh, ferro rod, 
foot and steel. It's it's a bomb proof type tender. Okay, so as I said, the reason why I built this trange here is for solid fuel. It's the real reason. Dual fuel. Okay? As I mentioned before, these little cubes, that's all we're burning. There's two of them, okay? Two cubes. Each one weighs five grams. This is made by that's what they look like. There we go. That's what they look like. Uh, they're Pinus radiata mixed with Carnuba wax. They're made in Holland. Okay. And that's what they look like. Budget 32 fire starters, okay? And I can't can't get in. They're two dollars ninety for thirty-two, or actually sixteen cups of water. You need two. You can use one, it's a bit skimp. You really need two to get away with it, okay? Now, this solid fuel takes a while. You can't really cook, you can lightly simmer, you can heat water and boil water. It's the cons it takes ages. The pros, the fuel itself is light. This is more of a gram weenie, gram fascist, so I call them, ultra lighter type thing. Or also trail runners and venture racers. Okay. I'm using it as predominantly for bushcraft, but also as my trail running type stove setup. I want to switch between mess if I have to or solid fuel this stove how I built it the trench here with a pot stand for those folks who don't know this is a uh, mesh wire uh, builders type mesh it's used to reinforce plywood or framework inside buildings okay it's like chicken wire coop except it's galvanized for those grand weenies who want to know the weights everything the trangia stove set as I showed you okay with the pot stand and the the dubbin or the mink wax oil tin, my American subscribers will call it, that weighs 27 grams. With the mesh wire pot stand for the solid fuel option, okay, that weighs 12 grams. Now, as I mentioned, see, look at it. Look how clean that burn is. That is the most efficient burn you could get, maybe a little bit lower, with a solid fuel setup. Those tri-wing designs they give you, okay, the tri-wing designs they give you, they're okay. They're not too bad. Now, you're going to notice a little bit of smoke, okay? These wood-based solid fuels, or fire starters, that's what they actually are, they give smoke on the top of the flame just like wood, if you're burning wood in real life. You get the major smoke at the top of the flame. Once it starts burning, it's pretty clean. As you can see, it's pretty clean. It's heating water okay. This is not the scientific test. This is just to show you guys that it works. And it's a pretty neat design. Now, if I can zoom in here. I'm zoom in closely. Now you might you might see some gas from where my finger is. fast but you might see some gas okay that's a wood gas type effect it's got a little chamber okay so it's letting air in inside these vents that are for the trangia those jets letting enough air in burning adding to the solid fuel the actual fuel source and gasifying in the bottom creating a cleaner Venturi effect burn. 
like so. Now it doesn't spread completely to the pot, but as I said, the problem with those tri-wing designs are they're too low. They smother it completely and you get a, a dirty burn. It's still going to be sooty, it's solid fuel. But this is a lot more efficient burn and it's a lot better use of the heat. So it's not a bad system. As I said, it's a combination of a Trangia, a ever new, ever new stove, Trangia, and a cat can stove, a fancy food stove. And it's basically a Trangia <laughs> with a modified pot stand for solid fuel. Now it's dual fuel. Folks, that's what I've been doing lately, just a lot of um DIY stuff, I'm testing some fabrics out for my tarps, as you know, I started a tarp company, a tarp manufacturing business, for those uh, Graham County bushcrafters out there, I just wanted to create tarps as light as possible, and as cheap as, as we could make them, because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm like you guys too, I'm an end user, I use and abuse stuff all the time, you know, I'm, in a, I'm out in the bush at least four days a week, um, but my new bushcraft goals are to spend at least an overnighter every week. So, uh, at least. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, as I said, this is a tribute series to Hiram Cook, who's sadly not uploading videos. He's probably enjoying retirement, but it's more carrying on his work. Not to plagiarize his work or steal his thunder. It's just to sort of keep the conversation going with the series. That's what actually start, partly started off my inspiration to build my wood gas stove i'll leave a card somewhere in this video um, if you guys want to check it out and to be honest folks that is actually my most viewed video the wood gas stove that's basically how i got most of my views and that's still how i get my views uh, that and some of the bush bushcraft and bush plant talk and uh this little stuff but yeah so uh the trangy stove it's no one's really done it. I haven't really seen it, okay? No one's really done it. No one's no one's doing it. Is it a new thing? All I can say is uh, in Latin, nihil nowhere sub sule. I want you guys to find that out, what that means. There is nothing, you know, it's not a new idea. It's just that someone hasn't done it. Um, and it, it's an interesting design. The reason why, as I said, I designed that stove system was I like a Trangia, but I like a combination of three different designs. An Ebony type meth burner, a Trangia burner, and the Fancy Feast stove. I'm not going to do a Fancy Feast stove probably in my DIY series this series at all, because well, it's all over YouTube, everyone talks about it, it's not really my cup of tea. Um, I've used them before, the super cat mods and all that. I don't like doing conventional stuff. <laughs> I mean, what bushcrafter does? They don't like doing what's normal. We like doing what's abnormal. So, and that's pretty abnormal. A dual fuel setup. And this is gram counting territory. Ultra lighters would consider this ultra light. To me, it's just compact. And robust. That's how I see it. That's how I see my gear is compact and robust, not to count grams or shave bulk. That's what I'm about. Shave bulk. Um, and try and make it more multifunctional. That's a bushcraft type of thing. You know. But yeah, anyways, apologies folks, I haven't made any videos lately. I'm making a whole back catalog for you guys to enjoy putting this new DIY series, as I said tribute series to Hiram Cook, who's sadly not here on YouTube anymore, it's just more of a carry on his conversations with stove cooking and some scientific methods, but things I'm going to add to his conversation will be um, from a end user's point of view, from a bushcrafter's point of view, out in the bush, real world tests, okay, with wind, with the variables, not just scientific tests, okay, 
So thank you folks very much for watching Cut Kitty on Dawn Blessed Trails. It's good to be back and I've got, a, as I said, a whole back catalogue to upload because I'm nearly finished uni for the year. See you folks later and see you guys soon.